killers on their imploding the Mirage tour. You ready? If you've got soul, but you're not a soldier, you're in the right place. Well, somebody told me I'm a man. Now it's time to meet the man. Well, men, over to you, Dave. Yes, uh, you wouldn't believe it, who I bumped into here at Triple M. Ladies and gentlemen, Brandon Flowers, Ronnie Benucci of The Killers. Welcome Hello. to Triple M. What the hell are you doing here? It's so good to see you guys. It's just we a came flash to see, in the pan. We just came to see you. Oh, man. Well, welcome to our brand new building, by the way. We've just moved into our brand new studio. So you guys That's are our great. first international guests. In fact, our first guests to be here at the radio station. So what a thrill for us. Got that new studio smell. It kind of does, doesn't it, Ronnie? <laughs> you know, the first time I interviewed you, you wouldn't remember. This was back in... I remember everything. <laughs> It was uh, about 2013. It was at the Metro in Melbourne, and it was in a back alley. Yeah, uh, I do. Do you yeah. remember that? Oh, well, sure. Uh, that was an amazing show. It was the first time I saw you guys. And then, of course... Can't get away with that stuff these days, though. No. Nah. Let's start. Uh, what, in the back alley? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's true. Ronnie. Um, but that was a great show. And, Brandon, um, for you, for our listeners in particular, and those Melbourne listeners... Um, that special show that you guys did at uh, Howler in Brunswick, it was the night before the grand final, something that people still talk about. It was fun. We love doing those shows. Yeah. Are you talking about the grand final or the little gig the night before? The little gig before. Yeah, yeah, we love doing those. We lo the grand final was great, but oh, we yeah. do love playing club shows still, and we try to fit them in whenever we can. Um, you know, those are our roots, and, sure. and, and, and it's nice to, to be a part of it, and the physicality and the yeah. sweat. Yeah, is exciting. Is that something that you missed just with the pandemic and the lockdowns, getting out with the people again and playing? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's part of what we do live, and you would really didn't um, think about it until it was gone. You know, so it's it's nice to be back. It's, it's good a, to be it's back. A, it's a community event, isn't it? Like it's it's a coming together of of fans and, and it's such a great feeling to go see live yeah, music. People are ready to party. Hey, yeah, look, since you're taking over the radio and you're here in our brand new studios, you guys get to play DJ. Have you ever done a radio show? Have you guys done college radio or, or been a DJ, anything like that? Um, you did. did you take over the Tom well, Petty radio? No, I yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Right. Yeah. Did you have a radio DJ name? Because, you know, I'm Dangerous Dave, Ronnie, is obvious. <laughs> obvious. Brandon. Uh, uh, did you have, like, a rock and roll? Morning Drive Time with Ronnie Vegas. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's left so good. of the dial. Well, how about we play a Tom Petty song right now to kick things off with our very special chat, taking over with The Killers here on Triple M. All around Australia on Triple M, coast to coast, we are joined with The Killers, who, by the way, will be back in Australia November 29 to December 19, FrontierTouring.com. You guys have been here a lot of times. What, what is it about Australia and the Killers? Gosh, it's a combination of the food, the sunshine, the air, the people, the food. <laughs> it's just good here. Yeah. It's nice here. I feel at home here. Yeah. I really do. No BS, no radio BS. What about, do you remember the first time you came out? Well, it wasn't the big day out. It was before the big day out, wasn't it, that you guys first came here? It might have been the... Yeah, we were playing. We were just playing little little shows. Yeah, yeah. I was just exciting. We loved. We talked. About, you know, we love in excess. We love the church. We love Midnight Oil, and you know, those were those were bands that were influential and a, and a part of our. How did they come onto your radar, Brandon? How did those Australian bands, from a global point of view, right. Australia's a minnow? But how did, the, how did I they, remember my first? I remember being at a carnival, and and. You know they come to town once through once a year, and they and I you you throw the you throw your dart at a at a balloon and sure. you get a pick a, a picture and I picked a kick poster, and it was my first band poster and I knew my I knew my brother liked him he was twelve years older than me and right. so that was good enough for me because he was like the coolest person yeah, in the world to me, and so that sort of kicked it kicked it off for me but yeah then I he later on would. Give me his cassettes when he when he replaced them with CDs. Oh no, kidding! So yeah, so I now. got so I got all that stuff, all that good stuff. It's a killer's takeover on Triple M uh, FrontierTouring.com to buy tickets. If there's any tickets available where you are listening, November 29 to December 19, get on board. You, you won't be disappointed. It's a show like I always saying you, you bring Vegas to Australia. It's <laughs> such a fun ride seeing you guys live. It's so good. Uh, we were talking about college radio and radio before. So did you grow up listening to radio? Was that your way exposure to music as kids? Oh sure, yeah. yeah. What would you listen to? Was it like a Casey Kasem top forty, or you know, what was it? Yeah, there was there was that, and then you know, when we were you know 
getting into our teens and you know you start to develop your own taste in music i had grew up a grew up with college radio so i got a lot of really you know alternative yeah, yeah. you know a lot yeah. of great music out there is there a Depeche Mode story with you where it was a Dave Gahan or someone that you were working in a Vegas hotel and I permed my hair once <laughs> because Martin yeah I wanted to be Martin Gore no kidding yeah I told him that's that once that's devotion that's it, devotion yeah what did he say when you told him he was like, her, 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 her. <laughs> I don't know. He he's a just... gentle guy. Oh, he's yeah? so, he's so nice. I, I said, I have a receding hairline because of you, a goddamn perm uh, at like 14. No, I know what your story is. Is I We had heard that they were hanging out. They were playing the joint and in, in at the Hard Rock. And I think I was, I didn't mean to, I was just explaining what, what I feel like a nice fan would be like. Yeah. And I felt like I was a nice fan. I was so excited just to see him. And he was at the Circle Bar, yeah. at the at the Hard Rock, and that was enough for me. And some people are just are are a little bit aggressive and a little bit greedy. Yes, they don't they're not happy with how their f picture looks. Yes, and so I think that's where that story came about. As I do remember, I was so thrilled to be in the room in and the see his hair and be like, "That is Martin Gore Martin. is at the bar." And I can tell people that I saw him. That's a And now I'm taking, you know, the third and fourth picture with people because they aren't happy with their selfie. I, now I sound like I'm being curmudgeonly. Yeah, that's right. But I think that's what that, that's what that story reminds me of. I was so happy. Yeah, to be in the to presence. see him. I yeah. drove across town just to see. Well, there'd be fans him for you guys. The same. You'd get the same with people being in the presence of the killers. I mean, that's yeah. It's, yeah it's, but it's, I wouldn't have asked him for an extra selfie if I didn't like it. That's all. That's my. That's, that's right. my bit of. Advice. Triple M, all around Australia, we are joined here by The Killers. They are back in Australia, November 29 to December 19. It's an absolute thrill to talk to you guys. We've got Brandon and we've got Ronnie here as well. So you spoke a bit about Midnight Oil. Now, for the AFL Grand Final, I remember a few years back, you played Forgotten Years um, as part of the halftime, or it might have been before the game entertainment as well. Uh, Midnight Oil, another band, how did they come across your, your radar? Gosh, yeah. Well, Midnight Oil—they were just dominating. The re I could remember riding around in 120 degree heat with my dad and the, the truck, and just that's what I think about when I when I think about Midnight Oil. All their songs were on there. Forgotten Years, the beds are burning. You know, all these uh, wonderful songs, and not just them, but like Men at Work and In Excess and. Uh, bunch of really great stuff that comes from here we 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 owe a lot to australia have you guys ever seen the oils before no the oils uh, only it's cool no yeah. only uh only like youtube footage of yeah. stuff like that but yeah. so i'm you know we're aware of his of of peter peter garrett yeah. and his and his moves yeah. pretty awesome <laughs> they're so they're one of the, those bands they're just like every song is is me you know is really meaningful and it's like bob only a few people been like that the clash and bob marley and they don't mess around they don't yeah. they don't they don't mess around this is Brandon Flowers. And Ronnie Venucci. And we're hanging with Dangerous Dave on, on Triple M. <laughs> Triple M. Dangerous Dave. Just don't forget to thank God for Midnight Oil. Feel it's too strong to contain 
invaded Our country was never in flames This is the calm we breathe This is a feeling too strong to contain Still it aches like dead moon It reeks of politics Signature stay with tears Australia on Triple M, coast to coast, we are joined with the Killers, who, by the way, will be back in Australia November 29 to December 19, FrontierTouring.com. Do you remember the first tape you ever got your hands on? What was the... The, the cars, the, uh, the cars, which would, oh, might lead us into an, uh, our next oh, play. Yeah, nice yeah, segue. You know, I, can I do an, a, little, a little brag? Um, humble brag, go for it. I inducted the cars into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Brandon <laughs> Flowers, play. Come on. <laughs> yeah. It's so wild. What a it's pretty wild. It was that really cool. Wild. So my first time meeting Rick Okasik, which I called him Okasik my whole life. I always was, it was Okasik. Was, it's Okasik, was handing him the, the award. And I got down on you know on yeah. my knee and he touched my face and, and took it. Anointed. It was yeah. so great, Anointed. so great. What a, what a night. Moment. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is that one of those? How the hell did I get here? Kind of moments like I'm yeah. here with. My, with yeah, my it was pretty cool. And, and I and I had a jacket made that you know. It, oh, I remember it was like the black and white jacket. Yeah, yeah. the jacket. And yeah. we were sitting next to, to each other while. Um, who was somebody else in the band? But he had already given his acceptance, and and the the guys are going around. And he just whispered, I'd wear that jacket in a, yeah. in a second. And he said, I'd wear that in a second. Well, how about we play a car song? We've got a lot to talk about because the killers are taking over Triple M. Oh, that's easy. Hello, this is Brandon Flowers. And I'm Ronnie Venucci. From the killers, and we're taking over Triple M. Triple M. Can I play DJ right now and play a killer song? Is that, sure. That's okay. I mean, Go for it. Right here, so I mean, I can't. Yeah, under your head. You know. I'm going to play, this is, a, this is a real personal note, but me and my wife's favorite song, our song, is uh, all these things that I've done. So uh, oh. how about we play that one right here, right now? Special request on Triple M. It's a killer's takeover on Triple M back in Australia, November 29 to December 19, FrontierTouring.com. Your choice, your your DJ. So uh, you're spinning the the fantastic black wax. Yeah, Colin Hay. I can't get to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody chin. What's the John? Yeah. Think, think of Johnny. 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 Yeah. It's my kids love when think that think comes of... on. My kid, it's no, so funny. Why? There's a station called First Wave on Sirius yeah, Satellite right. Radio. Yeah. And they'll play Be Good Johnny on that. Be Good Baby. That's it. That's it. This is Brandon Flowers. And Ronnie Venucci. And we're hanging with Dangerous Dave on, on Triple M. <laughs> well, we're getting the wind up on uh, Killers Radio right now here on Triple M. Mr. Brightside, is that song in its own universe now for you guys? I mean, that's that's beyond the Killers. That's that's it. Oh, yeah, it's not, yeah. When we play it, I mean, it, it, you know, it needs, it needs us, you know, and it doesn't. It's a, it's taken on a life of its own. It's happened. To, it it wasn't like that uh, for the first few albums, um, and so, I, I don't know that there's a there's not an impetus or a mo there wasn't a moment where it, it it did what it has done, but it just keeps doing what it's doing. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> Such a great song. And, and and as are you guys. You're incredibly generous to this uh, radio network, as I mentioned to you off air. And the fact you've come and had a chat to us today is an absolute thrill. We can't wait to see you guys back performing again. You're waking up in the morning going, where the hell am I? Vienna, Luxembourg, Melbourne. Is this the kind of setup you're at, at the moment? Uh, a little bit, yeah. yeah. A little bit. Nice okay. to be out touring, though. Great to be in Brisbane. Yeah. Um. Love. <laughs> yeah. The Gold Coast, one of our favorite places to be. Um, no, man, it's it's it's... It's awesome. We're 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 very grateful to to be able to do this for you know for a living and to be able to talk to you guys and see all these you know beautiful places and meet people and wow it's yeah. a thrill for us. It's a good we'll, it's a good gig. We'll see you back in December, November and December. Thanks, Brandon yeah. Flowers, Ronnie Venucci, The Killers are here on Flesh. Triple M. Thanks everybody. Thanks guys. Thanks guys. The Killers live this November and December for Triple M.